Hello, everybody. We're going to talk today about um, rational functions. And we talked before about the quadratic functions and we uh, addressed the uh, end behaviors of uh, quadratic functions. Today, we're going to have rational functions. We um, study the domain of the quadratic, the, uh, of the rational functions, uh, end behaviors, and some asymptotes. We're going to talk about the uh, vertical, uh, horizontal, and slant asymptotes. We also learn about uh, how to graph the rational functions. Okay, we'll start with uh, rational. Function. We define the rational functions f of x is a rational function if f of x equal p of x over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomials. and q of x, because this is the denominator, so it cannot be zero. All right, um, let's find the domain, the domain of the rational functions. It's not new for you to find the domain of rational functions, so we're gonna get three different example and we find the domain of all of them. So the first example, f of x is 3x minus 1 over x plus 5. For any domain, we set the denominator to 0, and then we solve for x, which is going to be the restricted value. And we exclude these points from the uh, denominator, or uh, excuse me, from the uh, uh, domain. So let's see. So I have x plus 5. I said the denominator equals 0. And subtract 5, so I'll get x equal 5. So now my restricted value is x equal 5. So I graph the number line. And I identify 5 as an open set. And here is negative infinity, infinity. And I shade this area and that area. So I have my domain is from negative infinity and 5, and also from 5 to infinity and I combine them together by union. Okay, so first, set the denominator to zero and then solve for x. So I got x is five and this is my restricted values. And then uh, draw the, uh, the numbered line and five would be the restricted value open circle and then get the two uh, interval here. If you have more than one um, restricted value, we're going to have more than interval, more than one or two intervals. Okay, so let's get another example. I have exam here an example on your notes. I have g of x equals x over x squared minus 3x minus 10. So again, we set the uh, denominator x squared minus 3x minus 10 to 0 and solve for x. Now we're going to go back to quadratic equation. So I set x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. And with, with simple factoring, I factor uh, x minus 3, x minus 10, 
So I have minus 10, minus, so that would be the product of one positive and one negative. So I have five and two, and I have to have a negative, so five would be the negative and two would be the positive. So now for solving for x, I have uh, zero product rule. So either x minus five is zero or x plus two is zero. At five here, I got x is five and subtract two here, so I get x is negative two. So how many restricted values do I have here? Two restricted values. So I also draw the number line, negative infinity to infinity, and I assign these two points, negative two, open circle, five, open circle, and then shade the area. So you see here that I have three intervals. So let's start that from negative infinity to negative two. And I have from negative two to five, and then from five to infinity. Union and union. I hope this is clear so far. I'm gonna get a third example before going to uh, different concepts. So you have the function g of x is eight x squared minus one over x squared plus nine. Now this example is a little tricky. We usually solve that denominator to get the uh, restricted values or values. So let's try here. So when I set x squared plus nine to zero, I subtract nine from both sides. So I have x squared equal negative nine. So if we look at this problem, um, squared and squared, I take the square root of both sides. But the problem here is the square root of negative nine is a complex number. This is complex number. That's it, x does not have a real solution. So that means here, no real solution, meaning that there is no restricted value. So again, I'm gonna do graph the number line from negative infinity to infinity. But now I'm gonna shade the whole line because there is no restricted value. So my domain in this problem is from negative infinity to infinity. Okay, I hope that this is clear and we're gonna go back to see more notations in the next video. Thank you.